Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am a couple weeks out from starting my hike and I wanted to share with you guys what I will be bringing along with me. I will apologize here at the top, I do not have weights for my items. I'm currently in the process of moving and I don't have a scale. So I will be sure to get you guys a starting weight when I step off for the trail, but in this video, I do not have it. Let's get into it. We will start with my big three. For my pack, I will be rocking the Hyperlite Windrider 3400. It is a 55 liter pack, and I went ahead and added this cell phone pouch um, just as some extra storage. This will be my baby on the trail. For my tent, I have gone with the Tarp Tent Double Rainbow. It is a two-person single wall tent, and it has vestibules on both sides, and it can be semi-freestanding. Right now, inside, I have it set up using my trekking poles, and out on the trail, I also have six sticks that I can use to fasten it down. I'll give you guys a better tour of her when we are out in the wilderness. For my sleeping system, I decided to go with a Nemo Astro Insulated Sleeping Pad. I chose this one because the Nemo sleeping pads are really quiet. They don't make that crinkly sound like the Thermarest ones do. And also, this pad has a taller baffle up by the head. It's supposed to keep a pillow in place, but I'm actually just going to use it as a pillow by itself. I don't really like tall pillows, so that is perfect for me. I will also be bringing along the pump sack that comes with the sleeping pad. It is just one of those luxury items that I think will make such a difference at the end of the day. It only takes about two minutes to fill up this pad and I fill up this pump sack three times and then my sleeping pad is full. I will also be bringing a UGQ 10 degree quilt. So I customized this quilt. Uh, it is their bandit quilt. And it can be full, up, full quilt, just act as a blanket. It also has a zipper so I can enclose the foot box. And I can also cinch it closed for those cold nights. And then it can also button, like snap around me with some straps. And that'll also keep it on my sleeping pad so that it is not mobile at night if I'm moving around at all. And then I also am going to be using a liner. I wanted this to help keep my quilt clean while I'm out there and also add a few degrees on those cold nights. As for sleepwear, I will be wearing a merino wool base layer top to sleep in while it's cold at the beginning. And then I also have some merino wool long johns to sleep in. I think my favorite sleep accessory are these heat holder socks. So they're made by the same people who make hand warmers and they, they are just delightful. So those are going to be my sleep socks while I'm out on the trail. For warm weather hiking, I will be hiking in Under Armour spandex shorts and just a synthetic t-shirt. I will also have a cheap pair of sunglasses, that's totally fine if I lose them, and a hat so that I don't get sunburned. Now, let's say it gets a little colder, what will I hike in? I will be hiking in Under Armour heat gear leggings and a Patagonia long sleeve capoline midweight face layer. We all know it's going to get colder than this. For my mid layer, I have this Nike running top. It is also synthetic and it is fleece lined with a hood. I will bring a beanie along and I also have these waterproof Unigear gloves. And I will also be bringing along a buff. Many uses, I can wear it as a neck shield, I can bring it up on my face so when it's really cold. You can turn it into a hat if you need to. Super versatile piece of gear and I think it might even get colder still. And if that's the case, I'll have my trusty puffy jacket. I think this is the piece of gear I'm most proud of. It is an old school vintage 
Eddie Bauer jacket, and I got it for $7.99 at St. Vincent de Paul. It's not the lightest option on the market, but the price is right. I was so excited to tell you about this puppy jacket, I forgot to show you what's going to happen when it rains. For our wet weather, I have a Columbia rain jacket, and I went with the REI rain pants. And now on to footwear. I will be starting with Njinji toe sock liners. I have two pairs of these. I will be adding a pair of wigwam wool socks. Obviously, really going for quite a fashion statement here. On top of that, I will be wearing Ultra Lone Peak 4.5s to start. I believe they just discontinued these, so we'll see what the next model is. And then when I'm around camp and just want to relax, I have some ridiculous Crocs to wear. There's no story behind the bananas or the orange. Just found these on clearance and thought they were ridiculous enough to make those crappy days on trail a little brighter. Next up, let's chat food and water. I will be bringing the Jet Boil Zip, um, and I will need to get a new can when I get down there because we can't fly with that. But I really like this stove. It boils water super fast. It's very convenient has a cozy and the lid has strainer and you can drink out of it. Um, I'll also keep a bandana in there just to clean things. And I will of course bring a mini Bic to light that baby. We'll also be eating with the Tokes Titanium Long Handled Spoon. And I will be storing all of my food. I just have this 15 liter dry bag. Um, I didn't want to go with the Z-Packs one that everybody has, so I was hoping that this one would stand out a little bit against the others. Controversial pick, I will be bringing a little mug. I thoroughly enjoy holding hot beverages, and when I'm cold in the morning or at night, I think I will just love being able to hold on to my coffee and enjoy that while I'm cooking breakfast and things like For that. For water, I will be using the Sawyer Squeeze for my water filtration. In conjunction with that, I will also be bringing this 2 liter CNOC water bladder. This will be helpful at night when I'm gathering extra water or scooping up my dirty water in this from a spring and then transferring that into my life water bottles. I'll be bringing two of these, the um, 1 liter size, and this one I rigged to have the sport cap top and then I just added a hose from a hydration bladder. I find it really difficult to access my water and I don't want it up front either. So I thought this could be a great solution. So I can just move this cap from either bottle and then be able to have a straw for my water and not have a bladder in my backpack because I don't want that either. We, I will also be putting a op sack in my food bag. It's just an extra layer of odor protection to help keep out critters, bears, and then our small rodent friends as well. And then to hang my bear bag, I just have a carabiner and some paracord. Next up, let's talk bathroom. So I will be bringing just a little bathroom kit. So in here I have the Deuce of Spades trowel. I have hand sanitizer, a little bit of toilet paper, and then some baby wipes as well. Those will be multi-purpose. Also at the end of the day, if I'm feeling disgusting, I can wipe down a little bit. And then I'm also going to be bringing the pee style. So this will be incredible. I don't have to take my pack off. I can pee standing up. I know it is an odd thing to think about bringing, but I saw a few other people say that it was in their packs, and I tried it out, and I think it will be great throughout the day to really speed things up, not have to take my pack off every time. And then, of course, I will, I have hand sanitizer in my bag, but I will also have a little one hooked to the outside of my pack as well. For emergency stuff, I have a bag of just random essentials. In here, I have things such as contacts, earplugs, my toothbrush, a brush, sunscreen. I have an EpiPen. I also have 
um, triple antibiotic ointment, antidiarrheal, uh, ibuprofen, and I believe that's it. Oh, a few band-aids in here. Oh, I also have some Luco tape and a fingernail clipper and a mini tweezer um, in case I come across any ticks that need to be removed or splinters, things like that. I will also be bringing along some hand warmers early on. If it's cold, those nights that you just can't seem to get warm and get any sleep, I think those will be really great. And then I'm going to start out with an emergency blanket as well. I know I probably won't need it, but I just like the idea of having it in case I get in a pickle or get really cold and I just can't seem to warm up. I just feel better carrying that and it barely weighs anything. I'll also be bringing a compass. Okay, on to electronics. So I will be vlogging my trip. I am currently filming on the camera I'll be bringing. It is the DJI Osmo Pocket, and I also have a few accessories for that. It is sitting on a little baby tripod, and then I am also going to bring this clamp. So this will allow me to turn my trekking pole into like a selfie stick to get different shots. So I'm gonna start with this. If I don't use it, I'll send it home, but I am excited to, to try that out. And I also have a clip, so this can go on the strap of my backpack, so then I can just clip my camera there to get footage that way, instead of having to hold the camera the whole time. I'll be bringing the Anchor Power Bank. This is the 20,000 milliamp bank, so this baby will be able to charge all of my devices multiple times. And in conjunction with that, I'll also be bringing this lightning port. So this is really nice because the outlet can fold up. And then also this has quick charging capabilities. So it charges things faster than just a normal outlet plug-in. I will have a cord to charge my iPhone, the cord to charge the power bank, cord to charge my camera, and headphones. For my headlamp, I will be using the Black Diamond Spot Light. It has the red feature and it also is able to lock so I won't accidentally turn it on and have the battery run out while I'm not even using it. Okay, last category I think will be accessories and random things. So on the outside of my pack, I will be carrying just an REI camp towel. That'll be great for wiping down condensation, cleaning things if I need to. I'll also have just a little hanky to blow my nose, wipe sweat in the summer, and chapstick, of course. As I mentioned with my tent, I will be carrying trekking poles. I got the REI trekking poles with the clamps. I like these better than the twist ones. So I've tried these out and really enjoyed them. So they will be coming with me. I will also have a fanny pack. I think this will be great during the day for snacks, just easy access snacks. I have my hip belt pockets, but this way it will just, everything will be very easily accessible. And um, I think this will also be great in town. When I'm out running errands, I don't have to have my stuff just out and about. It can all be in one place and attached to me. As my pack is getting organized, I will have some various stuff sacks and pods. I have a medium and a large pod from Hyperlite, so my quilt will be in the large one. My extra clothes will be in the small one. And then some of my other things will just be organized down into smaller bags to keep organized. I will be bringing the paper AT guide as well. I have gut hooks on my phone, but I do want to have a paper version just in case our technology fails. And I also think this will be great to uh, document my trip, to circle where I stay at night, how many miles I do during the day. I think this will be a great artifact to have after my trip to be able to look back and remember those things that slip your mind as time, as time goes by. Oh. 
I forgot my sit pad. I have a Gossamer Gear sit pad. I may be cutting this down so it's a little smaller, but I do think this will be really nice to have out on the trail when you sit down on a log or something that's not as comfortable. This little hunk of foam just adds so much comfort. It also can keep you dry if everywhere around you is wet. And to carry this, this will just go up between my pack and my back. So it'll also add a little bit of ventilation with these holes and just a little extra comfort. So that is the gear I'm going to be bringing with me as I start this trek in a couple of weeks. I hope everything works out, but you guys will be there along with me as I trade things out or if things fail, if I thought something was great and it isn't, we'll find that out together. See you soon.